One of the ways you can be sure you're watching a Kendrick Brothers movie, the five minute prayer montage. War Room is the movie, the Kendrick Brothers bringing us another one. They also did Courageous, Facing the Giants, Fireproof. If you know anything about those movies, you know they're faith-based films. This one is no different. It's a movie about a woman who is having trouble in her marriage and finds a mentor who teaches her the power of prayer to change things. This is a Jesus movie through and through. And I think that's important to say because it will definitely affect the way you view the movie. If that's going to be offensive to you, if that's not something that resonates with you, then you'll probably be rolling your eyes a lot. If that is something that is important to you and special to you, there may be some messages here that will really resonate with you as to where I fall in that category. I've talked about this before. I am a Christian. This stuff does mean a lot to me, but that doesn't get these movies off the hook for not being great movies sometimes. So the question is, is War Room a good movie and does it say good things? Well, let's talk about both. First of all, let's call this the best thing. I actually really liked the message in this movie. It is a message about, as a Christian, giving things to God instead of trying to change people yourself. That is something I can get behind. Far too often we think we will know what's best for everybody, so we try to make it happen instead of letting, you know, the guy who sees everything, the Creator, try to make things happen and understand that he is God, we are not, so let's let him do the job. I can get behind that. I thought that was really good and the way they approached that message was good. Um, I also thought there was some good humor here. There were some funny moments here. One thing the Kendrick brothers do well is funny. I thought the same thing in Courageous. They have a good sense of humor. Uh, I don't know that it flows into the story perfectly a lot of times, and maybe we'll use that as a transition to kind of go into, again, what is wrong with a lot of these movies. The production values just aren't quite up to snuff. Now, I will say in this one, I thought it was a little bit better. The acting was a little bit better, though not great. The production values were a little bit better, though not great. Uh, the music still needs a lot of help. It is the main distraction for me in these kind of movies. The music that swells and just tries to pull that emotion from you and make you feel something. It's like, let the story make you feel something. The worst thing about the movie for me, though, was that it didn't know how to use emotion. There were so many of these pour your heart out emotional moments that were just, you know, uh, pushing the needle, so to speak, on, you know, emotion just being over the top. And there are like at least a dozen of these moments where people are just bawling and crying and pouring their heart out to God or pouring their heart out to someone else. In a great story, a great journey has an emotional flow to it. It builds to something dramatic or a crisis or a moment of catharsis and then lets you experience that fully. This movie was more binary. It was more like a light switch or a faucet that can either only, you know, drip, 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 or is on full force. That's how the emotion felt in this. It never felt like it was building to anything. Uh, and because of that, it can be a little eye rolling or a little bit distracting, uh, especially again, if the messages don't resonate with you, you'll just feel like you're getting pounded with them. And at the end of the day, that's what the Kendrick brothers are doing. They are preaching a visual sermon. That's what these movies are, and this movie is no different. Overall, I thought War Room was a little bit better production-wise than a lot of these faith-based films has, uh, have been, but still lacking, especially in the storytelling aspect of it, and really kind of finding that flow of a story. Uh, so despite appreciating the message, I still kind of average out right around a C. Thanks for checking out the review. Appreciate it. If you want to check out more, feel free to click the cards up in this corner. We'll get to the best ever challenge, by the way, which I really want to do this one here in a second. But I do want you to know, if you click the cards up here in the corner, that's the little I, things will slide out and you'll be able to see the website, yourmoviefriend.com, some other reviews you'll be able to click on. By the way, the video will keep moving and everything, so you can click on it right now. Uh, and you can kind of scroll through some different things there, options, donating to the channel, all that kind of stuff. Also, follow me on Periscope, Aaron Dicer on Periscope and Twitter. I Periscope after every movie I go to because I love the conversation we get to have uh, when I do that. So you can kind of comment along with me and ask me questions, and I'm having a great time doing that. So download Periscope for your phone, then follow Aaron Dicer, and after every movie I, I get out of, I'll hop on and chat with you. Uh, also, you can subscribe down in this corner if you want to do that. You can also subscribe to the podcast, Sift Pop, S I F T P O P and iTunes and Stitcher. Okay, the best ever challenge this time. How about the best movie that features prayer? The best movie that features prayer. Doesn't have to have prayer in the title or be specifically about prayer, but it has to feature it in a, in a major way. For me, it's the one that, um, hmm, how do I say this? It's the one where it's really important, really important when a bell rings. That's probably too easy, anyways. 
put your answer in the comments. Also, let me know your, uh, yours as well. I'd love to discuss it. As always, I'll give you five extra seconds here to hit subscribe right down in this corner.